If you scroll through some of my vlogs, they have some form of exercise. No matter if this is running, weight training, or basically anything, I like and enjoy exercise. And a lot of people ask me, how do you stay consistent? How do you enjoy this so much? Because I know for a lot of people, exercise is a chore and a pain in the butt to do. So in this video, I want to show you how I, a 16-year-old teenager, stays consistent and still enjoys exercise consistently throughout the years. And not just physical activity, but basically anything in life. This video will show you the mindset of how you are able to do the work even if you don't want to, and how you can stay consistent. Number one is the goal. Do you have a goal in mind? Do your actions have a destination without direction you won't achieve much or anything at all for example if you just start going to the gym randomly doing random exercises without actually trying to get stronger actually improving you're not going to be able to achieve your goals if your actions do not have purpose if you do not have a plan and if you do not have a vision an end point an end destination in mind you're not going to really achieve anything if you exercise mindlessly if you do a couple push-ups at home and expect instant results, instant gains, it ain't gonna happen, most likely. It's because your actions have no direction. So know what you want first, create a plan for it, and then dedicate your time and effort towards that plan to achieving that goal. Yes, I do track my workouts. I just used to go sheets. I just track how much I lifted, how many reps, how many sets, and exercises. And yeah, that's pretty much it. To improve, you must obviously, well, improve. In this case, it might be getting stronger. And this is why it's so crucial to track your progress in no matter what way. For example, I'm not going to remember what I bench pressed two weeks ago. No one's going to have the memory for that. So this is why tracking your workouts and tracking your progress in anything is actually super useful. Not only that, it helps you stay motivated. And if you're not making progress, if you're not making results, you can look back at what you've tracked and see and find a solution. And that's how you don't get unmotivated. That's how you find solutions to your problems. And that is how you can stay consistent. Know when you're going to do the work, at what time, at what date, exactly when you're going to do it. This is one of the best ways to stay accountable. For example, scheduling your workouts and planning them in advance will help you actually do them even at times where you don't want to. When you don't feel like doing the work, you make yourself accountable. You know that you're supposed to do that. So at the end of the day, you're more likely to do it in order to stay accountable for yourself. It will reduce procrastination and increase productivity in anything in life school work this is actually super useful in case if you forget it ensures that even if you feel like crap one day you are accountable you are dedicated and you must do the work you're telling yourself you're supposed to do the work no matter how crap you feel that day and thus you might be able to do it and it'll keep you accountable one last thing guys i want you guys to do the work for yourself yes at the beginning it's fine to work out to impress other people but that shouldn't be the main motivator or the main reason of why you're doing it if you take away those outside factors and you stop overall, it is weak and unstable. In order to be truly consistent, you must be dedicated to your cause no matter what situation you're in. So in order to be consistent, you must work out for a primary cause that is about you. You must build yourself up first before helping other people. 